Hi everybody, so today I uh, just want to talk about um, the GTX 680. Uh, a little bit of uh, an impulsive purchase, went and bought a couple of these. A um, bit apprehensive to start with because uh, as you know I'm going to be losing one, one gigabyte of VRAM. So the 583 gigs had uh, obviously three gigs on them. A bit concerned about that but I bought them nonetheless given that the reviews I'd looked at, um, everything was really looking good. Um, so far, so far I'm... Uh, not disappointed at all. Here we are in the Heaven Benchmark. Have a look at the temperatures there. 75, uh, 75 degrees. This is on the stock coolers uh, before the uh, water blocks, the water blocks uh, were available. There's a quick look at um, EV, EVGA Precision X, which is the overclocking application. Uh, still getting to grips with that. It's fairly straightforward, but um, don't know the full ins and outs of that. So uh, fairly readily, EK have made the uh, blocks. Um, available, didn't have to wait too long. It was uh, just a, uh, a week or two. Uh, extremely easy to fit because the GPU now being a die shrink, the stock cooler comes off very, very easily so that the uh, cooler doesn't stick to it. And it's probably the easiest install that I've done. So as you can see from 75 degrees, we're now down to a chilly 32, 34. Um, GPUs are fully loaded use the same benchmark just to demonstrate that uh, I did do a whole bunch of other testing for you today uh, test mark and so on but unfortunately the focus on it was shocking so uh, it wasn't good enough uh, it wasn't good enough to show you so this is the magic that makes it all work is the black ice GT 480 radiator with the tribe work mid speeds and the Noctua fans thanks everyone see you next time